please welcome Al Del Bello. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. This is truly impressive to see you all turn out this evening for this cause. You know, it was about a year ago that a number of our business leaders came forward and said to us at the County Association, something's happening in the state that doesn't make any sense. And we better start looking at it because we're finding it awfully hard to continue doing business and employ people in this county of Westchester. And so we created an action committee, started looking at property taxes, started looking at what was going on, dealt with our state legislature on last year's budget, tried to understand why they adopted the budget that they did at last year. It made absolutely no sense whatsoever, and kept saying to ourselves, it can't get any worse. And then this year, a totally dysfunctional government running the state of New York to a point where we don't have a budget, we don't have any idea where it's going, we have no idea of what the impact is going to be. You've heard the statistics, you've read the statistics. New York is number one in every of the worst categories you can imagine. Most taxes, most debt, uh, worst business climate. It's crazy. Something like a million and a half people lost, left this state in the last seven years taking with them about a $4.3 billion of taxes, and we wonder why we're in trouble. Well, I'll tell you, I know what makes me mad. I don't know what makes you mad, but when our children graduate college and have to move out of Westchester County and move out of the state of New York, that makes me mad, and I'm sure it makes you mad. And when our parents get older and have to move out of this county where they've spent their entire lives and have to move out of the state of New York to Florida or Arizona or where, where have you, that makes me mad and I'm sure it makes you mad. I just had two friends of mine who had parents die in Florida and had to go down there to bring them back to their home in Westchester for a proper burial. That's an absolute disgrace that we're pushing our own people out. And I'll tell you what else makes me very mad. When our business people have to start laying off employees, people who've worked for them for 20 and 30 years, who it's heart-rendering when you have to tell them, I can't afford to keep you going. Or if they're able to keep them going, but saying, I can't afford to pro provide you with health care anymore. You're on your own. That's enough to make all of us mad, I would think. Well, I'll tell you. That's what this call to action committee and movement is all about. It's to wake up our state legislators, to tell them that we've had enough, we're angry, the state has to turn around, has to do the job the right way, has to make this an affordable state where our people ourselves, our children, our parents, our grandparents can live comfortably and stay in their homes and not be forced out. We need a state that attracts business, not sends business away. And that's what's occurring today. 